Columbia and Space Lab teachers handover in one and a half minutes. Space Lab Huntsville, just want to give you a reminder that TBC2 is still coming down. Copy that. And those types are going in, Glenn. Copy that. Five six five seven. Copy all. Affirm, Fred. Copy that. Yeah, Katie, let's just enjoy it. Go ahead, Fred. Okay, I think we're ready to go here, but as you can see, there's just not a lot of light in there for the camera. We copy that, Fred, and we want you to go ahead and press. Okay, if that's the case, I'm going to move the microscope out of the way so I get a better view. Stand by, Kitty. Space Lab Huntsville for Kathy. Go ahead, Joel. Kathy, once again on RP3, step seven, instead of running the SPL 145 macro, the last line of that step seven, we're going to do a manual balance of the acoustics to 142 dB. And another feature of the uh, experiment system uh, we can see sticking up here is a thermistor or temperature sensor device. A uh, thermistor is basically an electronic temperature uh, reading uh, sensor, and uh, that's important to have for uh, these experiment runs to uh, be able to uh, get readouts of the temperature of the fluid uh, at a particular uh, height uh, or depth within the test cell. 
these particles uh, flowing, um, sh indicating the motion of the fluid is very rapid and vigorous right now. Uh, the science team will be observing it very closely to uh, see uh, when they can pick up the transition from steady state uh, flow to a uh, unsteady oscillatory type of a flow. And uh, that is the particular phenomenon of interest that can uh, play a role in some of those very uh, sensitive type of uh, fluid processes that uh, play a role in materials processing.